And coach, congratulations, a 5-0 start to the season, kind of a tough one early, uh, but the guys really kind of took control, I thought, late there in that second quarter. Yeah, Perry Gym here is a tough place to shoot, and they always play hard down here defensively, and, you know, we probably came in a little bit lackadaisical, and, you know, their record isn't uh, indicative of the way Perry's played. They played Norwalk to a 10-point game Tuesday, and they came out and battled us out first half. So if we thought we were in for cakewalk, that was dispelled early. Did you feel like you guys were defending the Whiten kid and Ivory kid the way you wanted to there in the first half? No, we knew that Will Whiten would get some shots up, and we wanted to have a, a hand in his face all the time. And he was able to get free. We weren't communicating very well on some of the screens, and they did a good job freeing him up. Uh, we need to be able to switch on that and get a big hand on him. Coach, it appeared to me that you put kind of the, the, the guys off the bench into the game to try and provide a little bit of spark, maybe send a message to the starters there tonight. Well, Dalton got in early foul trouble. He had probably two fouls in the first minute of the game, and you know that kind of started the sub pattern early, earlier than we typically like to do. And uh, you know whether they brought energy or not, we play a lot of guys, and you know I think uh, that depth will help us down the road. And we're really trying to develop kids, a lot of kids at this point. So you know tonight is an opportunity to do that. Coach, uh, I like the way you guys were able to dribble drive tonight. Is that something that you want to be a big focal part of the offense this year? Yeah, we want to be able to incorporate that. You look at our, our offensive weapons with Eli Addison and Dalton, those guys are going hard to the basket, they're strong with the basketball, and they finish at the rim. So if we can open up the floor a little bit for them and give them some gaps to attack the rim, that's going to be beneficial for us. Where did you feel like this team kind of started finally kind of gaining control and the momentum of the game? You know, I think we came out pretty, pretty good in the third quarter there, uh, got a couple of stops, and uh, I extended the lead to 16 18 at 20 at one point, and I started to feel pretty good about that. We let them rally in with a couple of threes, cut her back to 14. But you know, our kids are tough mentally, they, they seem to know how to respond when the chips are down a little bit and they step up and make plays. Whiten went down there a little bit till late in the second quarter. Looks like you guys kind of went on a little bit of a spurt at that point as well. He's kind of their team leader, you know, he's their leading scorer, he's their point guard, he generates the offense for them. So when he went out of the game, it's difficult for them to generate offense. And, you know, that was very uh, advantageous for us. So, uh, you know, we took advantage of that. Coach, uh, Coach uh, Ben Wellendorf sat here just a moment ago where the team needs to improve the most is maybe on the defensive end in the second half. Uh, where do you feel like your team still needs to improve? We're giving up too many easy looks in the paint, so we need to work hard on eliminating dribble penetration there. Uh, we're giving too many easy post entries, so we got some work to do going into the break right now. Well, Coach, we'll talk to you a lot more about this game coming up tomorrow morning on the Coaches Show. We appreciate you joining us here after the win tonight. Great. Thanks, Jeff. Head Coach.